this started. So what got you interested in one-on-one coaching? Um, I want to get better. Um, sure. I'm just kind of that dude that I try a thing and I'm like, oh man, I'm not as good as I want to be. Sure. How do sure. I get better? Sure. Okay. So. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. So yeah. I'm looking here. Platt, a little bit of Genji, Sojourn, Doomfist, Winston Queen, so a little bit of tank and DPS. So how long have you been playing Overwatch? Um, I am an OG Overwatch one guy. I played during mm-hmm. the beta. Um, yeah, fun time. Sure. Uh, played ever since. On and off, of course, you know, over the years in college and stuff like that. But sure. I, I never, I was, I never played comp very consistently. There was times when I did it for like a couple of months, but I never was trying to like really grind and get better. I usually was just a quick play Andy forever, but I was the quick play Andy that was like, man, why are you guys feeding so much? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. But, uh, and then I was like, you know, maybe I should just play comp. So. Sure. 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 I, mean, I was the same way for a long time. Like I didn't play much comp at all. It was just mostly just quick play, try harding. And it was my first first person shooter. So there's like a lot of nerves involved as well. So I had to get over that. Um, now yeah. hero pool for you is, is interesting. So how long, like what, what was like your kind of hero path? What characters did you main back in the day? What characters do you main now and why? I've always played Genji. I've always thought Genji was fun. I mean, OG Overwatch Genji was like peak, in my opinion. Agreed. Um, but ever since then, it just feels like Blizzard is like, you know, this character's popular, but we can still nerf him. People still play him. So. <laughs> Fair, enough. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I've always tried to play Genji. There was a point in Overwatch 1 where I was like, this character just feels unplayable. It's too hard. And so I just like really concentrated on McCree. Or Cassidy now, for those that yeah don't know. Um, so I played him for a long time, pretty consistently. It was pretty much McCree. Um, I played a lot of Zarya back in the day too, because there was you know no roll lock, so I could kind yeah. of swap between those two. <clears throat> okay. um, I did play a lot of Anna back in the day as well. Um, a little bit of Zen. So I don't mm-hmm. know. I was kind of all over the place. I settled okay. on Anna for a long time. Sure. Uh, she was really good, and the nade was really strong, and the sleep dart was really good, and it was skill expressive. You could heal and damage. I was like, this character has everything. Yeah, and yeah. healing, I always thought, was really OP in the game, even now. And so I'm like, well, if I can heal and damage, and the healing's really good, and it can deny heals, like, this character's amazing. Right, right. There's a lot of opportunity there for pop-off. Yeah, I would agree yeah. with that. Okay, so, okay. So, but now you're kind of on a Doom Winston Queen, or at least those are characters... That's when you fill the form. So what does your hero pool look like now? What characters do you play the most? So um, recently I've just been playing Genji pretty much. Sojourn, if it's available or if Genji's like taken or I'm like, all right, I'm just, Got this it. is just okay. unplayable. Um, if I do play tank, it's mostly Doom. Um, I play Winston because I don't want to say he's easy, but at least in my rank, he feels pretty easy. Like okay, sure. their tank just goes <clears> forward and I'm just like, well, their backline's free, yeah, <laughs> so I just yeah, drop yeah. on them and kill them all. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and then I just like Queen. I think she's really fun. Okay. She feels like what Roadhog should have been. And so uh, yeah, really- yeah, I would agree with that. I'd agree with that. Now, I guess my question for you, though, is like in terms of like tank versus damage, how does that ratio work for you? Are you mostly DPS, mostly Genji, or is it a decent amount of tank as well, or how does that work for you? Yeah, so <laughs> I started playing tank... Because I uh, my monitor was broken, and so I only had 60 FPS, and I was like, I can't play Genji ah, 60 gotcha. FPS. So I just started playing tank for a bit. Um, I mean, I'd always played a little bit of tank here and there. Right. Um, I still play Zarya too, a decent some amount, because I don't know, she just feels like a, a DPS with like stupid <laughs> amounts of health. Uh-huh. And also, the thing about Zarya that I like is. I can like benefit off my team's misplays. It feels like like oh they're gonna die. I'll just bubble them and get know, charged. Double my damage real quick. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So, Makes sense. um, but I mean, mainly Genji. This past like couple of weeks, I've been really trying to get out of plat with with that. But man, it's it's ping ponging between like high gold <clears throat> and uh, mid plat. Okay. Um, okay. Which so. I'm a little confused about. So I started this like really taking comp seriously in low gold. I was gold five in DPS category. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, well, let me just watch some coaching videos, change my mindset around my play. Like in a week I was in mid plat and now I'm just ping pong in between like gold one, plat uh, three, four, five. So 
Sure, sure. I mean, and that makes sense, right? Like maybe the f- first time you've like really, really applied yourself, but now you're kind of realizing that improving to a point, especially getting good at something, it takes like a lot of effort, right? Um, and so I think obviously now it's going to be like, okay, you've got the initial beginner's luck, right? You've got that hump over. Now we like actually have to bit, like yeah. figure out like what what's the next plan. Uh, I will say in terms of like ping-ponging rank, that's, that's fairly normal. Not just in terms of like luck happens, like you get good teammates, you get bad teammates, but also like nobody's stat, nobody's skill is static. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like on any given day, the difference between like low plat and mid gold is not even that big of a huge major difference. It just mm-hmm. means that you made a couple more mistakes than you normally make, or you made a few, like maybe maybe you made a few, hit a few more shots, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's not that deep, so I wouldn't read too much into it. What you want to do is you want to get bring the floor up and raise the ceiling. Bring the floor up, and raise right. the ceiling. Like we want you to be fluctuating between high gold and mid plat, or low plat and high plat, right? Um, yeah. is there, the fluctuation and sadly it's just that's just part of that's just part of yeah, human nature. I would say some games I'm like, man, I feel like I'm playing really well, but we're just getting rolled. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And you I'm might be still, you might be. You might be. Yeah. You know? And it's also hard too because like I think our perception of how well we're doing is always like a little flawed as well. A little bit, um, yeah, for sure. I, I, that's what I learned when I first started to review myself. Um I was always like, you know, I feel like this is like an unwinnable game, and then I go back and like Oh gosh, that's me. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like. Oh no. So it's like you know, it takes a little bit of self awareness, but all, obviously in the moment, it's just about focusing on what you need to improve at and just like letting the rank kind of take care of itself. Uh, okay, so uh, sounds like Genji uh, main character for you. Is that what we're gonna be looking at today? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I did okay. just play a Doom game we can look at, but it was a pretty decisive role um sure that, well and if so, genji is what you play most and what you enjoy the most then you know let's let's yeah, stick i with also that. do like doom a lot i think he's kind of he feels like if i'm playing genji and i had an extra 250 health and i <laughs> right. kind of heal myself in a sense i'm like wow this is great yeah yeah um, fair, fair enough fair enough okay um so you play overwatch every day for at least three hours so how is that time spent you said quick play any back in the day but you're mostly on the comp grind set right now yeah, pretty much I'll do try hard FFA for like one match, one and a half, and then jump in when I queue and then play okay. comp. Perfect. Sounds good. And that's uh sounds good. Do you take breaks between games? Uh generally no. I'm okay. a, I'm a I'm a grinder. Okay. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. It might be Unless something that something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be something that I'd recommend even just for like a minute, but during queue times, right? So I did that with my Sombra journey while I was trying to figure out how to play the character or coach character better. Yeah. I would take like because it was like re- it required like so much focus and I think Genji kind of falls into that somber category where like it really requires you to be like oh, fully yeah. engaged all the time yeah. right and so I think like, I feel yeah. like I'm like I'm just sitting in the back and just shoot things and with Genji right. I'm like all right, right. got to calculate my angle and when I'm going to go in uh huh uh huh and have the mechanics and know the matchups and er- everything yeah. right so I think I think that based off of that alone. I think you'd benefit from just taking like a quick break between every queue, even just a minute. You know, get up, stretch your legs, grab some water, touch some grass, whatever. Come back, do it again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, I would. Oh, perfect. There you go. Give it a shot. See how it goes. Um, diamond goal, masters, long term goal seems fair enough. Yeah. What do you feel sorry about from improving mechanics? Maybe I have a game where I'm insane, but I'm most effective with the heroes. Uh, I think with what you're doing with consistent competitive. Doing a little bit of that try hard free for all, if that's not available on ranked deathmatch, um, and you play consistently, mechanics will take care of itself. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels that way. Like I, I, even if I have like a not so great game, it's not like damn, I'm missing everything. I can't kill anything. Right, right, right. It, it, it it'll get better with time. Um, I will say that, like in terms of sensitivity, do you have a sensitivity slash DPI with your mouse that you feel is comfortable for you? Uh. I think so. I mean, over the years I've changed. Over the years I'm like, well, I will say when it comes to hitscan players or hitscan characters, I usually play a little bit lower. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you play on with Genji right now? Sensitivity or DPI? I think I'm at 800 with 16 or 15%. Okay, 815. That's a little high. Is it? How much mouse I mean, pad space do you have? Um, I have I don't know the length. I mean, it's like from uh, the edge of my hand to my elbow. Okay. And, so decent yeah. amount of space, at least. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. A I lot just of, feel like the, the 180s are difficult if I don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, def- definitely, definitely tricky. Hmm. So, I mean, what, what I've noticed is. I play really low. Well, not really low, but lower. How much lower? Five, 
four or five percent. Or no, actually, I should check before I just. Yeah, yeah, no, go ahead. True. <laughs> go ahead. Options. Uh, trolls change hero. All right, so Cass is oh, it's ten percent actually. Ten percent, yeah. See that that's a little bit closer, but even some of the more actually Genji seventeen. I think I just recently bumped it up. Yeah. Okay, okay, but see, even that, like, I know there's a lot of Genji players that have functioned with high sensitivity, but even then, most Genji players operate around or what you're doing somewhere in like the six to seven mark, okay. um, which is obviously a lot lower than seventeen. Um, it's not going to necessarily immediately oh. dramatically improve your aim. But it right, over yeah. time will improve the consistency, and I think the other thing as well is it's like it's going to help help you to use more of your arm, which is generally what you want to be doing when you're doing anything for a long period of time. Like otherwise, it might not be super healthy for your wrist. Okay. Um, I would here's what I would do: I would look into that on your own end, um, and I would I try the, it out. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, well, not research it too, like research sensitivities and all that kind of stuff, and wrist health, and, and then and then give it a shot. You know, see how it goes. Um, I will. Encourage you that changing your sensitivity is like not something that you really want to be doing a lot. Um, however, it doesn't reset your mechanical training uh, because mm-hmm. you could take up any pro player and like double their sensitivity, and within a, like a week, it still have like they'd get back to like decent, right? Yeah, um, I've heard it's, you say it's, that Yeah, so you're it's worth it's worth toying with if it's like a quality of life thing for you and not feeling like oh no, I'm wasting my time. I could be improving my aim. Not, nah, you're fine. Um, okay. Yeah. So uh, let's keep going here. So understanding out of the game or in spawn, I can see why I died, even though it feels so imbalanced. Um, mentality, my teammates stupid plays does trigger me more than it should. Feels like they always die at the worst time. Yeah, I mean that that's always <laughs> that's always a tricky part with any team game. Is it's like it brings the worst out of human psychology, right? Where you're like, I oh, have a hard time yeah. seeing my errors, but it's so easy for me to see other people's errors. So yeah. it's it's just it's hard to not be distracted. So. To me, it's like you want to be so busy with your own grind set that you're not even looking around. Um, you check your teammates' positions, you make decisions that you need to be doing around what they're doing, and then you don't worry about how they're using their CDs or how they're using your ultimates. You just GG go next. Yeah. E- easier said than done, but that means it, it requires you to be, for lack of a better term, obsessed with your play, with what yeah. you need to be doing better. Yeah. Like full I, focus. I, that is my... I. I want to be that way, and I would say I'm like 50-50, well, maybe like 60-40. Like 60% of the time, I'm like, all right, this is what I need to do. This is my matchup. This is the thing I want to concentrate on this game. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes you're like, why did you just tank a full Bastion? Oh, trust me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, like what are you doing? You know, it, it's like, yeah. for, for and, and the worst part about it is that everyone always has their pet peeves. My pet peeve is not people not using their ultimates. Well, fight like after fight after fight. I die? Yeah, oh, or just yeah, not yeah. using the ultimates at all. Like three fights in, four fights in, we still haven't pressed Q. I'm like, what, what are you waiting on? You know, like, that drives me yeah. nuts, right? Um, the other one that drives me nuts is people that overfocus the enemy tank. Like I'm sitting there and I'm like shooting the Mercy and there's or, or the the Ash or the Hanzo and like everyone's just shooting the fortified Arista. I'm like, guys, yeah. please, yeah. right? Stop so you know, I'm not immune from that. Nobody is immune from that. Everybody, especially when yeah. you know you're having not so great of a day or maybe you're not playing so well yourself, you tend to be a little bit like you want to like. You want to hit something. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, and I also think it's important to remember that, like, don't treat it like an issue that needs to be fixed. It just needs to be something that you're continuing improving. You know? Got you. you don't just like, don't blame your teammates. And you're like, oh, thank you so much. Now I won't blame my teammates anymore. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's, that's I'm done with that. Yep. I'm, right. I'm that's not how it works. That's not how it works. You know, it, it's, it's a process. Because the reason why it's so important is it's not just about being sweet and rosy and kind to other people. Um, it's 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 just because every amount of effort or intention or focus that's put on your teammates is not put on yourself. Yeah, you it's know? just wasted. And it's, it's wasted, wasted time. So it's like it's 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 you're missing out on unproven opportunities. Okay, timing. It looks sounds like it's a little bit better. Um, seven hours of sleep, not bad. Could be better. That's my job to say, yeah. hey, if it's not eight and a half hours of sleep, I shake my fist and slam my desk. But you know, I get it. Um, yeah, I've always been terrible about sleep. Even that's in all right. That's all right. That's all right. It can always be better. Um, okay. Any. Questions. I don't really have anything else. Um, I mean, I don't have any questions per se. Well, I, well, let me. Oh, Go for oh okay, it. yeah. Let me ask one thing. Um, Please. 
I feel that like my aim mechanics are pretty decent. Like I hit shots. I try to keep my crosshair at head level. Like crosshair placement's pretty decent. Yeah. The one thing is, is my movement. I feel like I bump into things a lot. Like I, I run into walls and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know how to spatially control myself. Like this is the really the first FPS game that I've really played yeah. on PC. Like everyone played Call of Duty back in the day, but yeah, of course. it just feels a little bit different in Overwatch for some reason. One, I think because of the move speed of just the characters is, is a little bit faster. Yep. than most games and there is kind of a lot of crap around i've kind of noticed in overwatch like you know compared to maybe <laughs> like other yeah. games like there's just yeah. a lot of like oh there's a table here and there's a lamppost here and i just feel like i bump into things a lot when i'm like ah necros wouldn't do that <laughs> yeah 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 but necros has easily 10 times the amount of hours in this game than you do that's the problem um what I would say is I, I would start with like just keep doing what you're doing because in theory, one of the things that helped me the most with my movement with Genji was grinding deathmatch and then grinding comp. Okay. Grinding deathmatch, grinding comp. Because that, that that that's exactly where like the aim trainers, which you're not using obviously, but like that's where like a lot of people will be like, I need to practice my aim. No, you need to move more. You need to get very comfortable with moving around the map. Um, yeah. And honestly, like I'm not necessarily one to promote this, but like the uh, Genji parkour, no, just for fun. Could be something to try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's not going to like make your movement that much better, but it, it's just like, I think just exploring the different dynamics and then just practicing them over and over and over again. Um, I mean, I, I think even honestly, like it could be something that you could even practice in a rank game. Like you could go into a rank game and, and focus on your positioning, but not just your positioning, but specifically like, how am I like using my wall climber? What angles am I taking? Or can I find angles where I can actually like, Utilize my double jumper, utilize my wall climber, like just focusing on like moving fluidly in a ranked game. And that's your entire goal for the ranked game. Not your yeah. not your cooldown usage, not your blades, just your freaking movement. I think that, that can be that can that be something to accelerate that process as well. I feel like my my move or my movement and pathing usage, like overall usage is pretty decent. Like I'm not just gonna run it down main. I'm gonna right. I can climb. Right. Like, I can double jump. I can jump right. and then climb. Like I'm pretty but how decent you execute at that. It. Sometimes I'm just like, man, I'm just bumping into stuff. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that you can definitely isolate and practice. I think even yeah. even mechanical stuff you can isolate and practice. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to perform at it better, but it will like force your brain to put more resources into moving smoothly, which yeah. over time will allow that autopilot movement to actually improve. Or like I'm like, I'm trying to get around a corner and I get hung up on a wall. It's it's especially annoying when you're deflecting and you're trying to live. And you're yes, like, uh, yeah. So you get clunk. Like, I only have like here. half a second, you know, before yeah. I die. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions? Um, no. Okay. You want to pull up a code? Sure. Um, so yeah. there's, let's see, here's a Rialto game. This is one I thought was pretty good. Sure. That I played pretty well in, but I think we ended up losing on defense. So let me just paste in the chat, I guess. For me. <sighs> okay. Okay. And if any questions come up during the review, just let out holler. Sure. Okay. Genji, 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 Genji. Yep. The whole way through, I think. I don't think I swapped. Right on. Okay. What are you good at? What is your character's strengths? What are your character's weaknesses? So Genji, I think, is really good at a few things. One is pressing an advantage. Like, if you get a slight advantage, like mm -hmm. an anti-nade, he just can, like, completely destroy a backline once there's an yep. opportunity. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He's also pretty decent at healing for the back line. Like, he's okay because he can be kind of on a route and then kind of suddenly appear. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, you know, if, if that needs to happen, that's really good. He's really good at denying angles um, or just, like, making it... Not denying necessarily, but just, oh, man, I got to walk through, like, shurikens to the face to get there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, um, exactly. Which is not great. Um, you know, he's... Got a lot. He can actually win a lot of one v ones in the in the right circumstance. Yeah, um, like jumping on their head. He's really good with the element of surprise. I figured. I've found out. Like if you just yeah. drop on someone's head and you get a couple good shurikens before they even know you're there, like you're probably gonna win. Probably exactly. gonna win that. So, exactly. Exactly. Um, I think for a long time I played him kind of like a um, I don't know, just like a straight up fighter character. Like I'm gonna walk at you, punch you in the face. So you're gonna punch you back. But he's actually not too great at that because he can get poked out pretty easily mm -hmm. and i figured out oh if i shoot them first i win <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know i'm there so 
I mean, it's kind of funny um, that we're like the the character here. Hero design really fits this play style, you know, like yeah. the assassin, the, the element of surprise, using cool. utilizing that verticality. Because you talk about like the ability to peel or surprise somebody on an angle or push an advantage, like hey, we hit a nade or somebody wasted a cooldown, I can punish that. Really, yeah. all of those revolve around you being in the position to do that, you know, yeah. um, which is all going to be high grounds and off angles and little nooks and crannies there. Okay, sorry, yeah. go ahead. Um, I think his ultimate is <laughs> one of the most like biggest dichotomies in overwatch you either yeah. troll seed for the whole game or you just absolutely destroy the lobby every time you mm-hmm. pull it out and people mm-hmm. are like nerf genji um there's a science to it almost i feel like I agree. Um, but he's he can be good at team fighting for that reason um whether it's like just dashing in and killing or it's you know popping blade and kind of wiping yep i agree um, i agree a lot of outplay potential with deflect too Yep. Was nice. So I think Deflect is one of the things. most underrated cooldowns in the game, personally. I think yeah, it's like, the more I've been using it, the more I feel that way, too. It's like all the low rank players are like, oh, Deflect. You ever, you ever seen that like that uh, that meme where it's like all the smooth brain 40 IQ, but Deflect is OP, and then like the 100 IQ people, no, Deflect is not that good, and then it's like the 200 IQ people, Deflect is yeah. OP, you know? Um, yeah. Because yeah. it's like you actually start to realize that like, wow, this is like, it's everything in winning duels, you know, because even yeah. if it's not like you were, because you were saying earlier, it's like it's not about necessarily deflecting damage. It's just like it's your get out of jail free card. It's like buying time to engage, disengage, reengage, disengage, reengage over and over and over again. Yeah. Um, not for standing in front of Bastions and praying that they kill themselves. Yeah. I mean, it happens sometimes, but it does, as you yeah. get higher, it, it slows down. Um, yeah, for sure. For sure. But okay. Even if it's just fully bullets, but yeah, agreed. It, agreed. Um, anything you've been working on specifically with Genji? So yeah, um, I actually wrote that down. So I, I I have been working on being more patient with Blade, but I think okay. I can even be a little bit more patient. Like sometimes I Blade and I'm like, I didn't have to do it right then. Like I can just wait until the coalescence ends or I can just wait until right. like, um, I don't know. I, I can wait until this person just pushes or fees mm-hmm. or, or turns around. Like I don't have to do it right this second. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, oh man, we're we're kind of losing. I feel pressured to the blade, and I, here's my target. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go. Yep. Um, yep. And sometimes okay. I notice I'm like, I if I just would have waited an extra second, I probably would have just wiped them. Like yep. you don't yep. have to go right now. Yep. Um. So that's one. Uh, I t- <laughs> I notice with Ash sometimes I end up feeding a lot to her, and I know it's weird because it's like, oh, she's a sniper. You're really good, but I notice that if you dash on her and she has one. Or two cooldowns, sometimes she can just destroy you. Yeah. Um, yeah. That dynamite is brutal. She's really quick. Yeah. The dynamite is really brutal, especially on a flank. Like, if she hits you with that, just just go back to your team. Like, it's yeah. not, yeah. it's not worth engaging. And also, the, the coach gun sometimes can really create a lot of distance and she just headshots you while you're oh, yeah. flying away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. So, I've noticed I can feed to her sometimes and I want to be better at just. If you can't close the distance, then you just have to figure something else out to do, I think. Yep, 100%. 100%. I think one of the things that's important is that, like, you're working on all these things, but, like, you're not going to do a very good job at fixing them immediately. Like, it's only been a few weeks. You've probably improved at them slightly, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be anywhere near perfect, right? Sure. So that's fine. That's just how learning works. It's like, you know, you don't wake up and be like, I'm going to jump higher today, practice jumping around. Oh, look at me. I can jump high now. No, I mean, no, that's not how it works. It takes a lot yeah. of practice. And, so um, for me, the way I like to look at Genji overall, though, is you put yourself in the position to where if anybody makes a mistake, you're there to punish it. Mm-hmm. And not only put yourself in a position to punish mistakes, but you also self put yourself in a position to force mistakes. In other words, right. if you take a good off angle and you're shooting people, they will be scared. They will be, uh, you know, they'll be under pressure. They're more likely to use a CD. They're more likely yeah. to give you attention, to give those opportunities. And if you, if you fail, if you mess up, where they actually hit the CD on you, that's fine. You, you can disengage, play it well, slow. Right, exactly. And then just try <laughs> and go again, over and over and over and over right. again. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. So like, this is a great example where it's like, this is pressure, right? Yeah. This is, there's a threat of you getting a kill here. Um, and, you, and because of that, the Mercy cannot leave this guy. Uh, if she did, he might die. Now, if because 
he's pocketed, he has the advantage of this 1v1. But right, you're okay so with that. Be, yeah, I just got to be cautious. Right. You're okay with that. You have your CDs, yeah. right? You have right. CDs. Like he, you, you're burning two resources for one here. So if you survive this, in theory, there's more likely your team will get an advantage or a pick elsewhere. Now, I also want to point out, I like the, is that the contender skin? Uh, yeah. Nice, I like it. I don't even All know right. how I got it. I just have, I don't even know. I don't Beautiful. know where it comes from. Now, so, yeah. you went for it. Didn't work. But that's still value. You see that? Right. You go in. Back, yeah. Gets low. You hit some sh shots here. You're like, oh, he's low. Not quite. Deflect out. Okay, we're back out again. And then now you see this Roadhog. And you're like, um, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> he's totally isolated now. Like, you and your yeah. ball have zoned three people. Zero risk of dying with how you guys played it. Oh, uh, there you're good to go. Opportunist. Now, the reason I didn't, I, I was watching this earlier. I, the reason I didn't just dash onto that Baptiste is because I'm like. Yeah, Mercy Beamed. That, and I'm, I, I am traumatized by Regenerative Burst, man. I, I think that ability is ridiculous. <laughs> right, right. Sorry, I, I instantly have 400 no, it is. HP. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, it definitely oh, is. Oh, and he has know? it. Okay, yeah. And he has okay. it, right? So, like, I, I get I it. Just, I get it. You're just a little slow in the deflect there. You just are a little slow in the deflect. And you also yeah. got burst by Helix. And I, I, was, I wasn't even aware I was being shot at because the, I thought the ball went in. I think he did, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. So, so he goes I, I in. I thought he was being focused, but. No, he's shoot. He, no, no, no. They were all focused on you. So, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I like what you did. It was good. Just a little bit unfortunate with how slowly you reacted to you being focused. That's all. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. I felt like she was gone, so I just yeah. didn't have to ask. So. That's fine. Be very careful, be very careful. Obviously, no deflect there is spooky. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't one shot as consistently anymore, and I had Nash, and the pillars were okay, so I was like, oh, I can probably just put some shots. You know, I think the question is not like, what risk are you under, but about is there anything or anywhere else that would be better, right? So, like, right yeah. now, okay, as this fight evolves, right, this is what we want to see, right? Where you take a better position. I guess I could have dashed on that, but I don't know. It's you, don't, you don't necessarily need to. You could just throw shurikens on it too. Yeah. Where would you rotate to? Like Small right rotation. now? Yeah. Uh, probably left, wrap around to the mega, yeah. so you just kind of yeah, just throw, here, yeah, there, and then yeah. you need to mega you can dash and kind of kite mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. so I just don't want you here. That's all. I want you on top of this Baptiste. I, I might rotate up there. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. See, now the problem is here. Now for you to rotate this Baptiste, you're kind of walking out in the open to do so, and you had to yeah. use your dash instead of just being directly on his head. This blade is kind of okay. Um, it's, it's whatever. To be honest with you, you just needed a target. Yeah. That well, wasn't Reaper. Yeah. So where's that Sometimes, BAP? Where's that BAP? Yeah. There's the BAP. He's on the other side of the May wall. There he is. You get distracted with the Reaper. Yeah. And then the BAP takes high ground, and then you miss your opportunity. Then you go for the BAP, you miss your slash, he drops, and then you lose him entirely. Yeah. The timing of the blade, which is something that you've been working on, was really good. Mechanics of the blade, in terms of tracking the one target, was not. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I wouldn't even go as far to say that your initial positioning on this whole fight was fine, but then you drop to the floor instead of finding a different off angle to go. Right. You start, you're starting, like, you're, you're, like, you're checking the first box on your positioning, and you're checking the first blocks, uh, blocks, you're checking the first box on your blade, and then you fumble the back. Dang. Then... Which is not terrible, right? Like, this, we see why you've climbed from low gold, right? Yeah. Because you're checking that box. It, it, you don't have to do something perfect for it to be good. It's just the next step of, uh, you know, it's the next evolution here, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, this is great. You got a health back. You're on full HP. He has there you go. HP too, so. There you go. There you go. Right. But the thing is, is if you're able to get on top of him with full CDs, yeah. you have the advantage of the 1v1. You just do. Um, it's very difficult for like an equally skilled Genshi, equally skilled Baptiste, full HP. At the very least, you can guarantee to force both of his CDs and get out yeah. alive. He didn't even um, do a tick of damage. So. Right, and right, right. So it's very hard for him to track you that close, and you, you're basically a shotgun. So This is hilarious. Hey, kid. Beautiful. Get rolled. Yeah, this is all fine. Like, I, I like your playstyle. I like how you're playing the character. Just need more practice actually doing it. 
Yeah. So that's good. Like you're off to, I, I, at least from first fight, second fight, third fight, a lot of good things to say so far. That 22 Raptor got away. Mm hmm. Now, tough situation, right? Yeah, because I tend to do this to Reaper a lot. I'm like, well, I can ego. I, so, so you're like, thinking about the one v one. I always like to think big picture because what's the problem with what's going on right now? Think about your positioning. Well, I guess I'm at the same angle as the my entire team. Right. So you're playing short sight line on the Reaper, which is kind of what you're good at, right? It's not terrible. Yeah. But is the the, the case, But this is the tricky part, though. What's the other al alternative? Well, the really the only safe alternative that I don't feed is just up on the the catwalk there. Just climb up up here and just kind of shoot. From but do you see now? Angle. But 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 you see how you like you have another angle, but you're 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 you're, you're poking out versus a composition right. that will poke you better. Right. Other than that, I don't really know what to do. I guess I can I, hop on the boats. And I, get I, I, I you you could, but I'm going to be honest with you. This is where you're just at an awkward transition point. Right. It's okay. Genji just has it's fine. Spikes. It's fine. Right. Exactly. You. When you're fighting here, you're unbelievably powerful. When you're fighting yeah. just over here, you're unbelievably powerful. Right here, it's awkward. So you know what? Just chill. Look for opportunities yeah. when you see them. Maybe you see somebody's one HP. Your ball goes in. You just dash it and roll the dice because you know. Maybe yeah. you're like, I'm gonna play more front line and just focus line here. Line, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fine. So my point is here that like you need to be thinking about these things in the moment. Where can I position? Where's a good off angle? Where can I position? Where's a good off angle? But sometimes there's not always gonna be a great solution. Yep. This isn't bad. I'd be careful here with that. Go ahead. These are the situations where I feel pressured to kind of do something. I'm like, ah, oh, my ball's going in. Mm -hmm. And you, I'm but mad. you did something though. You did. Yeah. You just didn't do something that is amazing for Genji, but that wasn't necessarily your fault. It's okay. You did yeah. fine. My point is that you need to be thinking about these situations. Like, what can I be doing? But then if something doesn't present itself, don't worry too much about it. That's going to be the case sometimes. Now, the good news here is look at where the fight's rotated to. It's your playground. So where yeah. should you go to here? Or what, well, really, what could you do here? Forget even positioning here. What could you do? Um, well, um, you can rotate around to the boat there. You can rotate mm -hmm. up to the dash up to the mm -hmm. top. Like, no mm -hmm. one can really convince me except Bap. Yeah. He doesn't want to mm -hmm. sit there in front of me. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the hog is isolated, so I'm not really worried about a hook at this point. Yep. You like, could also just pop blade. <laughs> yeah. Um, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I am going to. I watched this a little bit. Okay. I'm going. Why? To. Why? Why is this a good time to pop lane? Um. Well, the fight's already started. Uh, yes. Nelson popped. Um, the lamp is gone. Yeah. All, um, all of those CD things, right? Pops. The healing yeah. station is, which isn't a counter, but I mean, it's something good to be gone. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, so, they're all standing like right on top of each other. Yep. So there's good cleave yep. damage. The fight started. So let's go. Yeah. Nice! You actually tracked him. That was good. I can do it. It's just, you know. <laughs> nice! That was good too. Wow. And uh I see the fat hog, but that was nice. Nice job. Thanks. Good patience, good blade, good target priority. A fair amount of my blades go like that, but sometimes it's like the one we watched earlier where it's like, ah, oh, I mean. It wasn't bad, but you just didn't. Do it was it. pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I just it, die, it, I it, it, right. You, it was pretty bad in terms of you lost the one target that you went for. Sure. Yeah. Right, the timing was great. You know, the, the, even the initial target that you were going for was great. The bat, but then you just lost him totally. Okay. Get set up on that angle. Yeah. And this is this I, is where this is where you need to change your positioning, right? So there's yeah. two ways of looking at this, right? Where are the two angles that you could hold? Up top, uh, or you can go around left where the boats are. Right. Now, what's the what's the advantage and the disadvantage of this position based off of what you can see? Well, I mean, Soldier's trying to push up here, so he's just going to walk into me. And right. I can just right-click him and mm -hmm. scare him away. Mm -hmm. um, just, but I'm far away from the other targets that I could. Right. Well, I guess Mercy's there, too. But but, but you could get poked out here a little bit, right? Yeah. Not, not, not I mean, amazing. There's the cover and the mini that sure. I can just kind of walk through. But it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, a, it's a good spot. But then what are the advantages and disadvantages of this spot? Uh, lots of cover. Uh, lots of cover from different angles. Mm -hmm. um, I can just kind of wall climb and be on top of the heads of mm -hmm. wh whoever's over there with Hog. So if someone else pushes in with me, I can I can also just safely right-click from, from there and just kind of 
you know, get some yeah. decent poke damage. It's not a little bit more reliable than left clicking from the cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't see a ton of disadvantages to here outside of maybe you might get flanked here, but yeah, shotgun yeah. angle, shotgun angle. That's always what you're looking for with Genji. Got shotgun angle, shotgun angle. Yeah. Uh, this one has the shotgun. This one has the angle. This one has the angle. May or may not have the shotgun. Right. It's a little bit too far. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Get, get off the cart. Sometimes I'm worried about Reaper. I think they popped all. That's why I'm taking cover. Well, what's the difference between you and Reaper? Um, uh, well, he his disengage isn't. I guess it's pretty good. He just has a little bit more burst damage than I do. Um, at close range, in my in my optimal range, he's better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. Other than that, I feel like that's really the only thing I'm worried about. It's just the burst damage. Yeah. But I, I have deflect. I mean, it's yeah. very rare that I just get literally one tapped by Reaper. But right. Right. If I go right. on the flank and I lose, I feel like I have so much downtime. It feels bad to have that downtime. I well, the is irony is that what are you doing right now? I'm just chilling at the health pack, trying right. to get visor. <laughs> right, right. Now, I understand that part of this is visor, but in a way, even before the visor, this is still downtime, right? You're not sure. doing a whole lot here. So you might as well sit here, play versus the Reaper, outplay him, or get outplayed. Crap! Dash out, whatever, deflect out. Get healed. Get healed, go and go again. Because right now you're you've already skipped to the downtime. You've not even tried to outplay the Reaper. Right. And not only that, by your very own definition of what makes Genji good is that you can control an off angle, peel for your backline by controlling the off angle. And so now do you see what this Reaper has now? Do you see how awesome. easy do you see how easy it was for him to walk forward here? Why? Where did yeah. he come from? The flank. The yeah. flank that well, you should have been on, forward. right? Yeah. Now you don't have to purposely pursue Reaper if you don't want to. Uh, maybe you like yeah. this angle better. Okay. But if you're there, you will protect your team by being there and 1v1ing him. Because you don't die to Reaper unless you massively misplay. Yeah. Um, so just something to consider. Control an angle, Reaper shotgun, mark the angle, or kill the Reaper. Or maybe the Reaper's not even there, in which case you just go kill backline, right? Um, you know, there's, there's no downside here. So this is, I think, the first time we've looked at a fight and been like, bad positioning from you. Right. Which is a good thing, because it means that there's still room for growth, um, but also is a, a little compliment that you've been doing a lot of good things so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now you know where you should be right here, right? I'm up. I think mm -hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, this is this is Christmas. Yep. You know, deliver me a mercy. <laughs> Reaper shotgun. Uh, excuse me, shotgun angle, what am I saying? Um, shotgun angle, right? You point blank range on the entire enemy composition right. on an angle with full CDs and full HP. I mean, it's Christmas. There's like really not a better character in the world at doing this kind of a thing right here. Terrifying character, by the way. Who, Genji or Reaper? Reaper. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they completely dunked on him. Nice job. I mean, that was huge, right? I mean, obviously the blizzard was fat regardless, but I mean, yeah. give yeah. yourself some credit but, for I mean, that. That was, that was nice. There, I mean, I could have cleaned that up pretty easily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even if without the kill, you would have forced every CD in the world on that angle. Just yeah. allowed you, your team would have won the frontline battle so easily. Sometimes um, I feel not so great about forcing CDs because honestly, I don't trust my team to like capitalize on it. But yeah, but that's your problem. It, it is what it is. Yeah. Right. You know, you 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 can't like you're you're like oh I don't trust my team to capitalize off of them, but the, I mean the enemy team is full of those bozos as well, and you yourself are one of those bozos. So you know you just need to take the L and yeah. try it, do it over and over and over again. Now, shotgun angle, yes or no? What do you no? Do? Not really. Um, is there a better option available right now? Yeah. <laughs> You could, I mean, I could go up the left stairs. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, well, I guess it's pretty decent because I have access yeah. to Symmetra. Yeah, pretty angles. decent. Pretty decent. Yeah, I, I think where you're at right now is okay. But, I mean, now this is definitely what I'd be looking for now. Yeah, I, I had to get out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much. Yeah. If you're a little bit more prepared there, you can kill her quite easily. Yeah, I, I mean, I usually am not scared of Sim because right, especially she, as she's yeah. walking up to me, I can just, like, couple shurikens and then, like, it's it's over. But yeah. No. In that case, I was like, ah, I just I can't. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, that's the thing. It's like you make a mistake, you just get out and try again. Yeah. Right? And that's a really that's what really makes mobile characters so strong is that you're able to force these CDs or take these 1v1s. You, you mess up, try again. Mess up, try again. Whereas another character, they mess up, they die. Mm -hmm. I think about Baptiste. Like, who has the advantage versus you 
in a 1v1. Baptiste kind of has an advantage, actually, but he doesn't get the option to disengage, right? You do. Good blade. Might not be... Yeah, I can't get her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it might not be win winnable given the, the amount of people that are alive, but actually, yeah. I think it was okay. I don't think, I think it was okay. I think it was winnable. The timing was good. The target was good. I won't worry too much about it. And worst case scenario is that we can come back in and fight a little bit sooner. Yeah. Sh Shotgun angle, right? Yep. See your ball in? Let's walk a little bit. The thing, I, sometimes I get, not baited by ball, but I'm like, oh, he's probably just going to roll away. I don't know if I can go in yet. So you do, so you don't necessarily hard commit, right? You save your CDs, just walk you know? Up and right. Take the take, use cover still, but I right, kill that yeah, soldier or too mercy. Much, too much sniper gang angle. Yeah. Or nice. Wasn't really sure if I could stay there. So yeah, yeah. Sorry, right, sorry, right, sorry. Right. I will say it is pretty easy to line up headshots from range in this rank because I just kind of like aim at the head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's so. also not bad to do if there was another available option. Like right now, for example, you don't really want to hard commit just yet. Your team isn't with you yet, but you need to be thinking in the next few seconds, where am I going to be coming from? Mm -hmm. This room I find is pretty hard because the two flank routes are still kind of out in the open. Like you still have to walk a little bit to get to people. Yep, agreed, um, agreed. But right but now, you've thrown, you've poked, your ball's in, your back line's in, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Let's cook. Let's cook. This is too much. Like the initial too couple long. of poking there, totally too fine. Long, but yeah. this, this is right. Too exactly too long. Yeah. This is too long. Like I guess every, I, you get hit by helix here, you get hit by Rosario right clicks, you get hit by you get affected by Semwall here, you get hit by Nade here. Everything that's thrown at your team's way, you're gonna run into. Mm -hmm. I mean, this sim should be dead. This sim should have been dead if you're on the angle, right? At the very least, pulling the just pulling the resources in two different directions. Yeah, it's just... Is it is not, yeah, so I, I guess that's a question. I guess you talked about it a little bit already, where it's just like, you don't feel as comfortable in those flank angles. Is that why, is that why you didn't try them? Um, in this case, it's hard for me to say exactly why I didn't. Um, I, I think generally, yeah, that's been my experience on those angles, because I'm like... But I, I will say the, probably the reason why is because I push out of the actual door, mm, and that can be mm. kind of difficult. All right. Uh, so you just might just take why. the angle and throw a shirk and see what opportunities you get. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to push the angle, just take the angle. So, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's the difference I need to, to make. Yeah. In my okay. It's like, okay. You don't push the angle, you just take the angle. What are you seeing so far from your game? Plan? Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I think in the transition periods, I need to do better about being faster on the angle. Just okay, yeah, there's not a perfect angle here. There's not a perfect, obvious engage angle, but mm -hmm. you can throw a couple shurikens, get a couple headshots, and then, okay, let's figure out where we want to engage from and set up yep. faster. Yep, 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 100%. That and don't lose people with your blades. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. I, I tend to not, but it does happen from time to time. It happens. Yeah. So. A couple shurikens this way. I'm gonna deflect the orb, I think, but uh, I mean, yeah, it's still fine though. I don't know if I, I miss good damage and ram, good distraction. And Moira, you force the, the heal on Moira, you force the soldier, soldier helix. Ram also looks at you, you dash out, and then the Farah dies because the Farah is not getting has, healed, is not getting healed, right? Right, also, nice shot. just nice shot. Bashed. yeah, <clears throat> this is where you're trolling. Yeah, because I don't have CDs, yep. Well, it's not just because you don't have CDs. It's, it's, it's a terrible angle. You're going back to the same angle, but world isn't static, right? Where has this fight rotated to? You seen it? So where it's do you need to be? The corner now. I need to be up on the ledge, probably. Up on the Shoot ledge, down. right, right. This is where you would need to be here. Yeah, from here, or like maybe trying to LOS a soldier, uh, or, yeah. or, or, or take this stairs here right. and look for this here. You can't you just like walk here. right from the front line and be like, oh, I got that angle. No, 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 no. Yeah, got you. It's okay. I still would prefer the top right. Got but you. this is yeah. I don't know. She's she can be just distracting. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm like, I can definitely kill Farah here. Like the eagle uh, gets there. 
Yeah, this is just too much time wasted on a non-shotgun angle. Like, unironically, this angle wasn't actually too bad. Like, you could have kept poking the ram and the soldier from here, but I think your best option would have been right here, right? Yeah, because um, then you can just rotate behind them once the fight really starts. Exactly, exactly. Going. There's so many options from here, right? You could shoot tank, you could shoot supports, you could flank all the way around Fair behind. Right, right, so there's like, right, exactly. Like, if you want to shoot Farah, that's where you want to shoot her from. Yeah, even here, it's like, we win, but yeah, I'm just too, I got you, yeah. Get that uh, Moyer orb. <laughs> yeah. You see, all charge. Yeah, yeah, ticky, ticky, ticky. <clears throat> it's okay most of the time. Just be careful about, like, yeah. you know, you need to be very smart. Yeah, I try about, not like, to waste it. Yeah. I remember watching some of the videos about that. Like, I, I generally nowadays don't try to just uh, deflect down the main choke unless there's right. like, a good deflect like that. You can get a lot of all charge. And I don't need it right now. Right, you don't need it right now. That's the big thing. Like, you'll have time. No, I got to see this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so See, honestly, now, honestly, yeah. even here, like right, you could you could be poking some shurikens down here, you know, and then go back and get healed and poke some shurikens down here and like like even here it's like yeah. You don't want to like this fight isn't starting yet, but like if even if you're going to poke, it might be worth poking yeah. from an angle. And definitely now, and definitely now, right? Definitely now I would get off the floor. Yeah. Ah, like that's terrifying. You yeah. good? No, bad. Nah. I mean, it doesn't matter because this team is staggering pretty bad, but it will matter in other games. Um, okay, let's, let's keep going here. Yeah, there you go. Probably because you're thinking about Blade, would be my guess. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, come on, look at this. You see this? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Oh, she gets away. Not for long. Jeez. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> yeah. See. Okay. Oh. I, did, I remember watching this back. So this is something. This is another thing I want to work on. Is I need to learn to when I'm at a disadvantage, just give the ground, get healed up, yes. and then re-engage. Yes. That's yes. something I notice that I do. So I'm like, I don't yeah. know if it's the ego. Like I can definitely kill these people. <laughs> oh yeah. Or, I mean, that's the thing. Is it's like you could definitely kill these people, but an equally skilled Moira, equally skilled Genji, equally skilled Sigma. I mean, they got every, every like you just even if this is Necros, like Necros should be hesitating before dashing here against an equally right. skilled Moira, right? Because you don't know the status of her fade. You don't know where turrets are. She has a sem wall, right? You're missing 73 or 77, excuse me, HP. Um, scary, right? So it's like, you know, yeah. you eat, there it is. And so now that play is gone. So like, it's okay there to just dash out, get healing, re-engage, right? Or grab a health pack or something, yeah, you know? We have so. time on the, well, we might have You do. Time you, you had time if you had not died. Let's put it that way. That, yeah. Because your that, supports and Bastion would have been there, right? Yeah, that's the. I remember watching this back, and I'm like, "Why didn't I just just get healed?" <laughs> well, just, it, it's easy with Genji because of the dash reset to keep going. And sometimes I will say I get baited by the destroying turrets. I'm like, "Oh, I reset my dash." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the uh, ticky ticky. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Okay. I mean, the blade was good though. You you stayed with the one target. Um, was really good. Again, awkward awkward transition point here. I think this is yeah. fine. There isn't really a shotgun angle, so you, you might as well take a poke angle and yeah. see what you could do. Now, I will say is that as this fight rotates, you this is the problem is you're getting stuck, yeah. right? I you started, up, but top, right? yes, yes exactly. Top. This fight is now rotated to here to where you're extremely effective, and yet you yeah. started here to throw shurikens, and you've stayed there. A little late, I guess. I mean, it's un you're still missing it, right? Yeah. You're... Yeah. Quite literally doing nothing. Yeah. And that's going to cost you guys the yeah, fight. If I were to yeah, if I rotated, then there's at least some... They won't just focus all their ults on the, the choke right there and just... Right, and I'm right. Me. You just didn't do any damage. Like, you just weren't a threat. You didn't force CDs. You didn't force a distraction. You didn't have a threat of any kill. You had no LOS. It's just, like, it's terrible. And I appreciate that you're recognizing these things almost immediately, right? Like before I could even bring them up and you know where you should have been and you know when you should have been there. Um, right. So it just comes down to like in the moment kind of keeping. And that's why I was so like adamant that you cannot blame your teammates. Not because we're clearly seeing you throw fights here, but more importantly, <laughs> because you need to be, this is hard to think about mid fight, right? You have to be able to like have that awareness mid fight. And if you're thinking, bro, why are we using these ultimates or why did we die to barrage? Like that you're, you're not in the moment, like not to be corny here, but like you, you're not thinking about like right now, like what do I need to be thinking about, right? 
Because like even this right here, oh like how do we lose this? Oh, this team sucks. No matter. But you know what? Yeah. You better darn well be thinking about what's about to happen next fight. Where do I need to position? Right. Where do I need to be? Okay, they're gonna have. Okay, they're on Bash it now. They're on, they're on Genji now. I wonder if you knew that, right? Um, or no, no, you know they're no, they're gonna, okay. you know, like all these like random like they get a swap comp. They they have this ultimate. Yeah. They have that ultimate. Where are we fighting? Was that a good deflect? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm probably gonna need it here. I think so too. If I'm gonna rotate over to the window. I don't. I don't think I do. But if I'm going to, yeah, or even just here, it. right? Shotgun yeah. angle here. This is something you definitely need to deflect for this. So you're gonna get some dopamine here. Um, yep. but it that now now you're stuck. You know. Yeah. And now you're stuck. Yep. And this is not what your character is good at. <clears throat> I think I get bursted here, yeah. Yeah. Well, you get bursted from, you know where that sim was? On main. She wasn't even going for you. So you were too late. So you got yeah. hunted down because you sat on main. And by the time you actually even took the angle, she's tier 3 beam. Right? That's that's right. like full charge Zarya, basically. So, yeah. Yeah. Completely melted. Yeah. Okay. So, Whatever. question then. Um, yeah. If I spin, to, is it better? Even just like, don't even worry about the poking. Just go to the angle. I, I would right, say the if the angle, if the fight is starting and an angle is available, that is, that is what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah. Go right, go right away. Still wouldn't waste the CD to get there though. Probably not. I would, yeah, I would, I would yeah, try to yeah. not waste the CD to get there. Yeah. If you can walk there, that's always going to be better. Or walk line there. It's always going to be better. Yeah. That's why when we were looking at that last fight, um, you talked about window. But I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to adapt. I mean, it, it, could, it could it could work. It could work. Like you could deflect out and hide. Maybe you just but like it's just too far away from my team, though. Right, yeah. right. So, but certainly walk here, throw your shurikens, deflect whatever. Yeah, I mean that mercy was half on that angle right there. I could have just and you couldn't even see her. That's the thing. It's like yeah. you could not even know. see her there. You don't get those opportunities if you don't. Have that yeah. Okay. Um. Very very hot and cold with your positioning. Let's put it that way, which is exactly what we'd expect when it's something that you're practicing. But you don't quite have all the uh, the ducks in a row, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is perfect. Yeah, perfect. People scared of the turrets. Yeah, fine. yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. I understand. But I'm still here. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah, like, exactly. I can drop behind them and just kill them if yeah, I need to. It's all good. Yeah. And see, the funny thing is, is do you see? Do you, you could watch the split here? So yeah. Roadhog wants to push up. Why don't they push up with this Roadhog? You see what they're, they're gonna get their, their they're, they're all looking at you. The Moira backs up, the yeah. Sim looks up at you, the Bastion looks up at you, so then this Rodong is gonna get smoked. And you haven't done a single ticket damage. <laughs> yeah. You know? So all you need to do here is just keep him honest and you know, I over here. Look at this guy. This guy's attack. getting toasted, right? Yeah. Now this is okay. But it's kinda tricky because they're all like looking around. at you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if you for here, switch things up on him. No, yeah, 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 yeah. See, there you go. They're like, oh, I want to deflect, but 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 oh no, it didn't work, right? Yeah, but look at the kill feed, <laughs> yeah, right? Just, there it is, right? No help, immediately loses his Moira pocket, immediately loses his Percy pocket. Yeah, but but even this, like, do you see how this? Why is nobody peeking down this? Why are they all looking yeah. up? Right? Oh, there you go. So you know, nice shot. Oh, you know, fun res ability. Yeah. Go 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 go. Ah, it's just a little slow. So I think yeah. this fight was okay. I think mechanically needed to be executed better from you. More shurikens. Um, a little bit more decisiveness with with taking that angle and, and maybe like actually going for a one shot because. If you're on a good position here, you could drop shirk and shirk and shirk and you know deflect and or dash back to high ground. Like actually have like you were there, but it didn't feel like you did a lot from that good position. Oh, you mean when I'm on top? Yes. I wanted okay, okay. I wanted you to hit the shurikens on the mercy, throw some shurikens on the bastion, get a nice deflect, or or get back here and clank, 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 clank. You know, throw throw stuff up as butt cheeks, you know, like like actually get really engaged here. Um so I think the decision was good, but how you like played from that position. Mechanically, in terms of like, I guess the level of aggression could have been a little bit better, if that makes any sense. Okay. Oh, I didn't okay. think so. Turn here. Yeah, I mean, we we, we got um, a few more minutes. Do you want to look at um, another Genji fight or two? Do you have another code? Uh, yeah, we can look at one. Uh, let me Perfect. pull up here and look at. There's an icon wall code I have. We also lost. Uh, okay. Copy.
Fit right here. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. We should be good. Any questions so far? Um. Well, I guess I'm wondering how envisioning how would I play? Because you just said I wanted you to dash down. You know, like mechanically play that last fight better. I'm. I guess I'm worried about. Well, if I just dash down there, there's three there. I'm just gonna. Like feet. Oh, yeah, so so not eight. not dash down, not dash down, okay. drop, just down, drop down, shirk it, shirk it, shirk it, deflect, dash out, rinse and repeat. Okay. So like it was like really get in their face, really make yeah. them like use stuff right. instead of like poking and they're like they're looking, but they're not really using right like, resources. I like want you to threaten that. kills, right? Because the reason why is because because the position is so strong for you, and because there's nobody on the high ground that can threaten you. You're not going to get threat. You're not. You're not at a risk of going. Oh no! I use. I'm going to get killed. No, you're not going to get killed. Right. So just, yeah. Okay. I got. I yeah. see what you're saying. Just, so like, use the up, position. Get in their face. Really. Like even even you can just like off angle a little bit more. Like you don't have to. I don't have to walk straight at them. But like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. flank a little bit left, a little bit more, and yep. then just come around out of LOS of them, and then just just hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. And I you see. can go back and look at those codes and look at those engagements and be like, okay, how should I play this engagement differently? You know. Right. Okay, this, you might get upset at this. Um. um, maybe, I mean, you, like, it's, if he, if, if, like, like, as long as you're confident that, like, hey, I'm, like, I'm able to, if he's not hitting his shots, ignoring you, yeah, you know, nobody's gonna push you here. You have your deflect, you have your wall climb, yeah. you have some sort of vertical cover here. Um, I don't know if I'd rotate all the way back here, because, that, yeah, that's, but, you know, Again, shotgun angle. That's this the two words you need to be looking for. Shotgun angle. And in theory, that's kind of exactly what we have right here. You don't have your deflect, but you know, okay. I guess I shouldn't have dashed there. I should have just. Stayed yeah, the yeah. To, to, I think your your diva also died like almost instantaneously, which kind of sucks. But yeah, okay. Let's uh let's look shotgun angle. Shotgun angle. Shotgun. I mean, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Shotgun angle. Deflect. Dash out. A little bit scary right, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's ego. Yep. I also, I think when I looked, I thought the Mercy was healing me. So I'm like, all right, I'm good. Like, I'm yeah, going to heal. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. I mean, and this is also, I would say it's a little bit of ego, but it's also like, oh, man, he really was one HP. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I get yeah. it. I get it. So, yeah, I remember watching that, and I was like, ah, oh, I guess I can wait because I thought I was being healed. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, never mind. Don't walk, don't walk, don't walk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Run, 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 run. Walk the other direction. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Hey! I I Let's go. Yeah. See, run, 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 run. This, I remember, I'm like, I should just disengage, but... Yeah, I'm you really should. Bit. Even here, not, like, I should right now. Yeah, you should, because now you're, now you're staggered. You just staggered your mercy. <laughs> yeah. You know, dash out this way, reset up your shotgun off angle, right? And go again, right? Yep. Now this is, goes just, back to that. I should just give ground. To mm -hmm. Get the advantage back. Like, just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you don't have to fight for every inch. I think that's what I'm thinking. Like, exactly. No, don't give him exactly. any inch. Exactly. So. Exactly. Because if you don't give an inch now, you'll be giving foots later. You yeah. Know? Okay. Um, Genji, what needs to be practiced? What are some specific skills that need to be practiced? So, sticking too long on the post <sighs> angle. Um, not enough urgency with setting up. Shotgun angles, right? Yeah, because yeah. like I, again, I, I want to be very clear. I would say sixty percent of your angles, really great, really great. But then there were a big chunk that were just awful, right? So just yeah. keep practicing that. Okay, what else? Um. Well, one one other thing is disengage when you're at a disadvantage. It's okay to give ground and then get healed up. Take the angle back or take the off okay, angle back two. and then. Give up, right? Again, right? Even just a one v one, like you mess up a one v one, like they hit a crazy shot, or you mess up your cooldowns. Just disengage, go right. again. Again, that's that's your luxury. Like Genji is the best one v one character almost in the game, with the exception of Tracer, and they're both good at, for the same reasons. They're good at one v ones, but they're also good at going. Oh, I'm not going to win this way. Went bye, bye. See you later. And, yeah. and try again, right? That's why he's so good in deathmatch because you just ruin everybody else's one v ones, and nobody can ever kill you, right? Yeah. Um, that's that's what makes him OP. Like if you're talking about like what's the best 
beefy 1v1 if you couldn't disengage. Probably a character like a Torbjorn with an Overload or a character oh like a Bastion, God. right? Don't get me started. Right? But those, once those that. characters press those abilities, they can't like just run away, you know? So yeah. like they're, they're stuck. So they either win or they lose. They have to die on that, you know? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, what else? Those are, the, those are the big two, I think. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the one thing you said was when, we, when I do take the angle... It's okay to like be aggressive on that angle when you have like cooldowns mm-hmm. and HP. Like it doesn't mean dash, disengage, and feed, or dash, engage, and feed. But mm-hmm. you can walk up and you know shirk into the head, mm-hmm. knife, and that's like a lot of burst. That's going to get a nade. That's going to get something mm-hmm. right. And then you can just disengage and then get healed up and then just go again. Mm. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, experiment with lowering sense. I guess I would say it's, it's not like a must. It's just something they made to experiment with. But yeah, I mean, man, a lot of good things to say about your Genji. I think like a lot of good things. Just keep practicing. Um, I think with what we saw today, I think if you're able to keep practicing and improving like these weak points, there's no reason that you can't be mid plat consistently or high plat. Um, mm-hmm. certainly given given some time. Okay, do you have any questions? Um, I guess is there something I could ask about Blade? Um, hmm. no, I feel like that. Well, there's a couple. There's a couple ways that I try to use Blade. I don't know if you could fill me in on some other ones. Some of the the ways I try to think about it are, I can try to win a three, two to three v one, um, like on the back line. Sometimes I get people to chase me, and then I just ult them and like kill two. Sure. Um, like one v one snowball. Like there's one our isolated target. I just blade kill them. There's another one. I just blade kill them. And then there's like just the team fight. I don't know if I can't really think of any other. Except I guess you can like pop CDs with it. But I would say if the fight has started, use it and try to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. That's it. And through that, based off of the enemy response, whether it's popping an ultimate or popping a bunch of CDs or just freaking dying, you will get the value based off of their response. Like, let's say you pop Blade and literally every single person focuses you down and you end up having to deflect and disengage, you'll win the fight through your indirect value. Let's say you pop Blade and you kill a person because nobody peels for them and then you kill another person, you kill another person, you kill another person. Okay, great. Let's say you kill one person, but everybody else is too spread out. You don't get any more kills. That's fine. The key thing with Blade is it's not so much like the advanced strategy of how to use it. It's just finding one target that you know you can kill, either a target without CDs or a slow target like Baptiste or Cassidy or something, and then mid-fight going for them. That's it. Okay. That's That's generally how I try to do it. I, I, I noticed earlier on when I was like, you know, trying to take comp seriously, I would pop blade too early. I'm like the fight hasn't really started yet. That's why I died. <laughs> yeah. Um, or like I would start the fight with it, but now I'm like, okay, the tank's actually fighting now. Now I can go in and yep. try to do. Yeah. Exactly. As long as your tank or your DPS and supports are engaged, then yeah, that's a good time. And I think you did a pretty good job with that. And I also think in terms of timing overall, I think you did a pretty good job. It's definitely something to keep an eye on. Cause like, you know, you're going to focus on these new things and you might start like messing up your timing. Um, so continually go back and revisit your timing with your tank and with your DPS. But I, I think overall it was, it was not a weakness. Any other questions? Um, I don't think so. I, yeah, no. Okay. Um, 